Good morning, evening, afternoon. Sabona Domelang. Hello, Fuyamora. Today we're going to be talking about the Greater Barracuda. Now, people often get confused and use the. This is back to my gripe about common names. People like using common names for fish when it comes to it, but because there's so many different groups of people that target fish, you get 20 common names, one different, one species. The Greater Barracuda, Spirena Barracuda, where we get its name from, often gets confused with Kuta, Kuda, Barracuda. Um, in my opinion, Barracuda, one thing. Kuta, C O U T A, King Mackerel. Use those two, there we go, done, don't have to worry. Okay. Over my ranch, we can go back to this now. Your greater barracuda um, is part of a, a bigger group that we get about four species or so. You've got pick handle, sawtooth, uh, greater barracuda, and then there's one other I can't remember at the moment. But yeah, there's a, the, the four major ones there. The greater barracuda, obviously the bigger of the, the lot, found pretty much worldwide. All your tropical waters, your Bahamas, they're very popular over there. Um, on our coast, you're really going to find them caged in and north. Um, they're not a cold water species. They sort of torpedo shaped. As they get bigger, they get very, very chunky. Um, so they get quite a little, little stomach going to them. They are extremely aggressive predators. Um, they have been known to attack people before, but it's generally, I wouldn't call it provoked. Um, but uh, sometimes it comes to it either the person's wearing a bright, flashy color or um, you know fins that have got uh, sections that have got flash on them sometimes the people like putting a piece of flash on their fins things like that and then a, a barracuda will come and, and chomp the fin um, this can be a problem because the barracuda's got quite a large head and with that large head obviously comes a lot of musculature on there and then proper proper dog-like teeth they are you really don't want to get bitten by a barracuda they are will cause a lot of damage now those teeth link up to the fact that they are mainly piscivores, piscivores coming from eating fish. So prey fish, literally any fish is not safe from them. Um, they eat anything from parrot fish all the way up. And that's where you get something called cigateria poisoning. Now, cigateria poisoning is basically bioaccumulation. You've got corals produce uh, a toxin. Now the parrotfish and the reef fish eat the corals, that toxin goes into the parrotfish. Now that one parrotfish eats say three corals, so that's three corals worth of poison in one fish. Now a barracuda eats three parrotfish, now it's getting nine corals worth of toxin, so bioaccumulation. As you move up the food chain, you get more and more of that toxin concentrated. So. Your, often your predatory fish are actually, in fish in tropical waters, are actually poisonous, well, poisonous. And um, barracuda is one of those species that's really not, in some of your tropical waters, is actually banned from being eaten. Because it, you can get cigateria poisoning and it's, it's not fun. You can die. Anyway, yeah, a lot of diversion in this one. Your barracuda overall, as we said, torpedo shaped, sharpish snout, uh, fairly chunky. Dusky color on the fins, fairly large tail. They're very, very good at hanging almost motionless and shooting quickly to the one side. They are very, very fast predators. Obviously, they need that in chasing fish because fish don't just slowly lump around like that. They're going to be darting around. Um, in terms of targeting, your, if we do lure wise, top water lures, very, very good for them. Um, plugs and poppers and things like that. You'll see. The picture that sits just below my bottom over here, Marcus got a very, very big one off his ski. Um, that was on a, on, a, on a big popper. We do have very nice poppers here that will work for them. Um, your stick baits, your chisel nose plugs, needle nose plugs, those kind of things, anything that's gonna get them excited is gonna work well. Then it comes to trawling lures, um, jigs, soft plastics, any of that's gonna work for them. Anything that's gonna create a bit of movement, get a bit of excitement going. Um, the guys do catch them on fly. Um, it's generally a bit more tricky to actually get to a spot where they are, so most of the time I'll use a method called teasing. We're going to be throwing something that doesn't have hooks in it to get to locate where the fish are, and then you're going to actually target that area. Bait wise, um, if you watch a YouTube channel like Blacktip Bait or things like that, you'll see the guys using live bait all the time there in America. 
your baits here, it's generally more of an opportunistic thing, but a live bait in a tropical area, nice big chunky live bait, will get snacked on by, by a big barracuda. They've got huge mouths for their size, so you'd be surprised that a smallish cooter can actually um, engulf almost the whole whole body or things like that. So don't don't worry about the size of your live bait, rather go bigger. Um, yeah, in terms of fish wise, or size wise, you're looking at a fish goes up to about six foot, so about 1.8 meters, which is giant. It's phenomenal. Very very strong species. Uh, lovely game fish to catch. Obviously, just be careful of that cicatera poisoning. Rather let them go. Um, and yeah, it's a species that pretty much everyone around the world knows. Lovely to target. Strong fighter. Beautiful fish. Watch out for the teeth. And yeah, the barracuda. Spirena barracuda. Cheers, guys.